With first angle, the drawing is created by projecting what you see through the object and drawing it behind the object. The front elevation is centered in the middle of the drawing, with the plan view immediately below. The right-hand side view is drawn on the left-hand side of the front elevation, and vice versa for the left-hand side view. The fact sheets here give information about types of non-ferrous metals. Drag the slider for more information, or click the link to view a PDF of the fact sheets. The regulator reduces the pressure from the cylinder to a constant safe working pressure, which can be maintained during different flow rates and volumes. The pressure in supplied gas cylinders has been increased over the years, and it is essential that you use a regulator capable of withstanding the pressure of the cylinder you are using. An outside corner joint is formed by two workpieces positioned with their edges next to each other at an angle of 90 degrees. The weld is placed on the outside of this corner. The pieces should be tacked at each end and at regular intervals along the joint. The electrode should be tilted so it is halfway between, bisects, the two workpieces and have a slope angle of between 70 to 80 degrees. First ensure that the cylinder is secured in an upright position. Check the thread patterns on the cylinder for damage or debris, then attach the regulator with flow meter and attach the gas feed hose to the power source. Check the condition of the wire spool prior to fitting for any signs of contamination on the wire and damage to the carrier or spool. Then enter the wire through the correct groove and into the guide tubes until it exits the front of the machine. Apply the pressure roller and apply a slight tension. Attach the gun assembly with an appropriate liner for the wire being used and check the condition of the contact points to operate the gas flow and wire feed mechanisms before coupling the mechanism to the power source. Remove the outer sleeve contact tip ready for the filler wire. Turn on the power to the machine and increase wire feed speed to inch the filler wire through the gun until it emerges through the end. Ensure that the welding return lead is not connected to the work table when turning the power on so as to prevent stray arcing. Match the contact tip to the diameter of the filler wire being used and material being welded. Hold the end of the wire and operate the trigger to check the wire tension. It should give a positive forward movement of the wire. If not, increase the pressure on the drive wheel slightly until this is achieved. Open the cylinder and set the gas flow to an appropriate level on the flow meter. Then purge the lines to ensure adequate gas coverage. Attach the welding return lead and clamp to the workpiece. When you have adjusted the machine parameters to the appropriate settings for the materials you are welding, then you're ready to begin welding. Slope in and slope out controls are designed to slowly build and reduce the arc temperature. This establishes the molten pool and prevents burn through of both the start position and termination position of the weld. The controls also allow the termination point of the weld to be filled to the weld profile and prevent crater cracking. A good technique if the machine you are using does not have these facilities is to use run-on and run-off tags or plates. When a metal sheet or plate is bent, Tensile forces are created on the outside of the bend and compressive forces on the inside. Where these forces are equal within the sheet or plate, 
is known as the neutral line. It is up to the fabricator to make allowances for folds by subtracting one material thickness for each fold in the finished piece up to a certain thickness. However, when the thickness increases significantly, you need to take account of the neutral line formula. To avoid fractures, the inside bend radius of the fold must be no less than four times the thickness of the plate. Radiographic inspection. Gamma ray works on a radioactive isotope, which gives out gamma rays with a 360 degree spectrum and can penetrate deeper, and the whole joint can be screened in one exposure. This makes it the preferred choice for on-site work, although it requires the area to be cordoned off during testing. Any defect or discontinuity would show up as a difference in density or shading in the film.